right, ready, ready to go. This is the warmest early June that I can recall in a long time, so we got a pretty good spot here. Chief White Crane, Yankton, South Dakota, Lewis and Clark. So get all set for this camping venture. All right, all set up. Pop-up camper. Kind of at the back end of the campground. I didn't want to be by, I didn't know there was a bike trail right behind me. So I should have got a spot over there because I was trying to get a spot where the dogs, hopefully they'll, not try to go after anybody so set up night hawk three cheap six hundred dollar pop-up camper This place will be packed. Today's Thursday. So they'll be rolling in. All right, pretty calm out. It was a warm one today. And look at that, I had just painted this camper. And then, one gravel road I got to drive on, they sprayed mag tar, mag water. They had just put it down while I was coming. I'm like, good grief, that kind of like pissed me off. But the rain will take that off eventually. So it is pretty uh, calm out. Getting ready to get the fire. My brother's coming back out. Nobody else will really be out here till I got one coming tomorrow and then the rest the rest coming Saturday packs. Was that just a hot day for you, buddy? She's such a good sleeper. And so got the kayaks. one thing I like about Chief White Crane, but the only problem is look at these trees are gigantic cottonwoods. And I can guarantee you if there's a big storm coming, I am out of here. I'm not having one of those trees come down on my camper. But it looks like this weekend is no chance of storms. Right, so this is what looks like in a pop in, pop up camper at night. This cheap pop up camper here. By the way, I can't get on here because I can't get my mobile 
hot spot to work and my dog is out she is bushed and I'm watching signs so it was last year about the same time I was camping and we were watching trimmers packs all right just a little bit more of a view here so they got some cabins and then there's they've been doing a lot of construction back in this area they're building back a road back in kind of annoying to have those trucks going by dropping off gravel but let's come out here I can step down on this tree stump so you got your beach over there this is uh, the water is really low I'm not used to seeing like this, usually that sand right there is usually all the way up to the grass. The dam is further down that way. Can't really tell from here. But that breeze feels good. Hopefully it stays. All right, check this out, guys. This is a weather balloon that we've been watching the last couple days. Let me get up on it. It's been in the same spot. It's not a satellite. It's a weather balloon. It's been in the same spot. I've seen it. Well, it's not been in the same spot, but that one right there we've watched now for at least 30 minutes. Stay right there. And this is day two of camping. Some water. Everybody's rolling in. All the places are slowly filling. You got something to say? No, I don't. That was embarrassing. Where'd this dog come from? Bluey, where'd you come from, Bluey? Bluey, where'd you come from? That's a good girl, Blue. You stay in the campsite, okay? Things might get squatchy later tonight. Bigfoot's supposed to be in the area. Crazy dog. Barks at lights. No, she <coughs> Packs. They're just lights. My mom wants to know what she can eat to make her stomach work. Just keep eating prunes. <laughs> Take some fiber. You need fiber. I don't 
This is, uh, you know, camping at its finest. Nice breeze off the lake. Everybody's having a good time. So we'll continue the adventure. Lance Quest. All right, day three. Just wanted to talk about the only good thing about a pop-up camper is you're not sleeping on the ground. But I would definitely prefer one with the uh, AC on it. But you pick up a cheap camper. Then my brother's got his tent. So this has got like a biking trail. They got like hiking trails in the woods, but they're up in different spots. You know what's really weird? It looks like there's like I don't know what that is unless it this bunch of wood together. This looks like like a little hut or something. But this little trail here goes around, comes out by a a kid's playing area. But it's kind of. Nice if you got young kids. Now we've been camping out here. I've been doing this area for a long, long time. So I want to kind of put together a uh, montage of clips throughout the years with my daughter. Now I've had bringing all of them out here, it was five. And then the other ones just got older, and then uh, when I finished up camping with the one that's, she'll turn 18 in July. Boy, that sun's hot. But there's the, the play area. She's a scorcher out today. But that wind's got to come up. So I'm going to put a montage of clips that I've been out for the last... What would it be the last 10 years or 8 years with her? But God, I've gone back 25. And then when I was in high school, I'd come out here and we'd do different stuff. But other than that, I'll put that montage together. Kind of sum up this video. All right, back home now with a lot of itching from bites that it seems like you don't know until after you get done camping and putting lotion on to stop the itching. But kind of wanted to show you where it was at. I was going to do a montage, but I decided not to do that. It was from a previous channel I had. And that's a lot of work to go in and do all that editing. editing. So right here is the Missouri River. And then you have Gavin's Point Dam, and it's Yankton Lake is right here. And then so basically where I was at was Chief White Crane is on this side. There's camping all along here. And then you got gas stations, a lot of food joints are through here up into Yankton. And then you cross the bridge, uh, the dam, and you're on the Nebraska side. So... Let's see if I can come up on a little bit better. It's really a nice area. I didn't. I probably shown it before back in the day how nice that area is, but um, there's a lot of trees and all these are you know, the camping spots that really <clears throat> nice and a lot of shade in there. You get a lot of the wind off the lake. <coughs> cottonwood i've done that one for a long time 
and then I've also done this area up through here is nice too so I travel from A second so here we are Sioux Falls area to Yankton many different routes I can take usually when I'm pulling a camper I usually uh, take more of a country to fa the farm roads so I'm pretty soon getting ready to go here in July out to whoops right in going to hill city so you got rapid city you got the badlands that are in here that's really awesome and then you got mount rushmore and it's kind of a i don't want to say they're mountains but they're foothills or whatever they're real nice um and again great camping areas they have some of the best spots camping in here too so Let's see if I can come down on that. Deadwood is pretty fun. So we'll be doing Hill City. Which is right by Mount Rushmore. But once again, the Badlands right through here completely it's just amazing how you go from here and into this it's all along interstate 90 which is from it's just basically barren it, it, it's nothing to see it's pretty crazy and boring once you get past Chamberlain but I actually kind of like it because you can see for a long, long ways. But that will be it. I just, um, until I do whatever I'm going to do next. Take care.